Okay, welcome to lesson 2.6. In lesson 2.6, we are going to take a look at multiplying using expanded form. And this is just another way that you can actually multiply uh, multi digit numbers. Our essential question is how can you use expanded form to multiply a multi digit number by a one digit number? Okay, just another way. If we jump down to unlock the problem, Example one, it does say use expanded form. So I would like you to practice this, this method. We're gonna first multiply five times 143. And essentially with expanded form, it's just like the beginning of the year when we looked at the different ways you can write a number. We're gonna break apart the larger factor and we're gonna break it into hundreds, tens, ones. So if we take 143, we're gonna break it into 100 plus 40 plus three. Okay, expanded form, just like we did at the beginning of the year. Okay, then we're gonna break each of these into their own separate multiplication problems using the other single factor, the five. So the first part's already done for us and they've already done five times 100. Okay, so next we're gonna do five times 40 and we're gonna do five times three. So we essentially broke it into three different multiplication problems, very similar to the distributive property where it's broken into parts, three multiplication parts, and then you add to get your answer, okay? So if we go down to the model, follow along with me please, we're gonna first multiply the hundreds, so five times 100, using mental math, we know that five times one is five, add our zeros, so we know that's 500, okay? Step two, multiplying the tens, again, using me mental math, we have five times four, is 20. We have one zero from our factor. We know that's 200. And then our last step is the ones place. And in the ones place, we know mental math. Hopefully we know our math facts and we know that five times three is 15. So going back from the beginning, we have 500 plus 200 plus 15. We're gonna add it up, just like we did in the distributive form and we will get five, one, seven. So our answer would be 715. So we know that five times 143 is 715. Okay, it does have a math talk down here where it wants you to evaluate, evaluate reasonableness and we know that if it asks us about reasonableness, we're gonna have to do some form of estimation. So how do you know your answer is reasonable? Well, we know that if we take 715, what would be the closest thing that it would round to? And again, we're going back to, because you essentially rounded before you added, 715, we know that it's close to 700, and it would also be between 700 and 800 if we used our range chart, okay? Okay, moving on to example two, which is on page 94. Again, you're using expanded form. That's what we're focusing on here. The problem says the gift shop at the animal park orders three boxes of toy animals. Each box has 1,250 toy animals. How many toy animals does the shop order? Using our underlined, our underlined technique, we want to underline what we need to find. We need to find how many toy animals does the shop order? Okay, so you're gonna need to underline that because that is your question that you need to find the answer to. That is the problem that you need to solve when it's all said and done. The clues that you are going to use, if we look here, we know the gift shop at the animal park orders three boxes. So three boxes is going to be very important of toy animals. And we know that within each box, there's 1,250 toy animals. Okay, so each box has 1,250 they order three boxes. So our multiplication problem is going to be three times 1,250. Three times 1,250. Those numbers are from the problem here. We're gonna write them in expanded form. So taking the multiplication problem, we're gonna break it in to hundreds, well thousands, sorry, thousands, hundreds, tens. So we have three times 1,000 we have 200 is our next part of 1,250, 
And lastly, we have 50. So we have three times 1,000 plus 200 plus 50, okay? Then our next step in the distributive property method is to break it into separate addition problems where you've taken the single factor and you're gonna multiply by each one of those. So the three times 1,000 is already done for us. Now we have three times 200 and we have three times 50, okay? Very similar to the distributive property. So the next step is to add up the partial products. So mental math tells us that three times 1,000 is 3,000. So we're gonna have 3,000 plus three times 200. Mental math tells us that that's 600. And then lastly, we have three times 50. Mental math tells us that's 150. We're gonna add. Our answer should be 3,750. So the sh shop ordered 3,000 750 animals. Okay, you're gonna move on down to the share and show. We'd like for you to complete numbers one, two, and three. Please complete number one first so that you can go through the different steps and also your picture model is there for you. Number two and number three are the ones that are going to determine your groups.